call this a baking pan. Sometimes I just like lose my mind and I can't think straight. Because you're filming with me. <laughs> I know. Just send me a little piece. Like, Take that one. How hot is it? It's perfect. No, that's hot as heck. How in God's name did you eat that? Oh, God, she's eating her own thing. <laughs> Come, boss. Is Captain Hook in this, uh, work in your bakery? What in God's name is this? <laughs> hey, everybody, Crumboss here. Hi, Crumboss. This is why I didn't want to make cinnamon buns on a YouTube video, because I can't fit this dough hook into my KitchenAid mixer. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Where do you get this? Where'd you you this bought one, that from KitchenAid? This one came with the bakery when I bought it. Oh, when you bought the bakery. <laughs> this is now, what is it called? This is a dough hook. For how many pounds of dough are you mixing? This is the dough hook that goes, uh, the attachment that goes into my 180 quart Hobart mixer. Yeah. So. One day we'll show you how to work that. We're going to scale it down for you guys. Yeah. Today. today. Let me see. Oh my God. We're going to do. That comes with the KitchenAid blender. Yeah. And this comes with the Hobart mixer. This is Daddy and yeah. Mini Me. Exactly. Oh my God. Great. And look at the size of it. Yeah, it's gigantic. I never saw that looks very dangerous. It could be. You get your hand caught in that mixer while it's going around and take your arm right off. Okay, so let's go back to our little crumbos <laughs> uh, mixer over here. Yeah, we're gonna scale it down for home version, guys. So crumbos, what in God's name are we making though that you would need such a thing like that? We're gonna make cinnamon buns. Too. Oh, that's right. You said that already? Yeah. Oh. Everybody's been waiting for it. I have been testing this recipe since before Halloween. Uh-huh. Um, and then the hurricane came and everybody been waiting on it. Waiting. And you know what? The wait is over, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're making cinnamon buns. So we start with the process of cinnamon bun dough, That's correct? Right. That's right. And you guys are going to need some um, dry yeast. What's yeast? Yeast is a living organism that creates uh, the rise in a bread dough product. Wait a minute. Okay. When I eat it, do it does it, it will go inside my tummy? Makes tummy. rise. <laughs> Yeah, it makes you run. Ugh, I'm never yeah. eating bread again. Well, that's a good way to look at it. Why didn't you tell me it's yeast? You eat too much yeast, you're going to rise. Yeah, yeah. you're going to turn into a bread dough. That's right. You eat too much yeast, you're going to rise. That's a good one. That's why when they say you lose weight, don't eat bread. Because you're right. not rising. That's right. All right. So I have some warm water here, and I've added my yeast. Okay. Um, to the water. Now you want to let this sit for about five minutes, guys. Where do you buy yeast at? at? Right in the supermarket. They sell it? Oh, yeah. What aisle? Um, I want to say it is in like the cold, the cold refrigerated like eggs and milk. That's usually yeah. where I find it. Okay. Um, and then when you do buy it, you want to store the packets in your refrigerator. Gotcha. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. So you see how this got kind of like mush and stuff. Yeah, like disgusting. mushy. Yeah, it's starting to get frothy. <laughs> now, what I like to do, you want to let that sit for about five minutes. I like to take a little pinch of sugar. Oh my God! I dropped dead. <laughs> well, the yeast likes something to feed on, and that's. Ew, Gretchen. It's the truth. It's like everything's alive now. It, it, it's alive. It's like an alien is going to come out of my tummy. <laughs> and the things go wrong. That's what I think every time I watch you make cake pop videos. <laughs> and something's going to come out of me. Yeah, I'm making a good video today. I can't oh, ho, ho, ho. All right, so you want to let this, what we're doing here is called proving the yeast. It's proving that it works. And that's a proving box. Get, that's right, this is a proof box, exactly. Yeah. So um, once you do that, you really just go ahead and mix it straight up. Um, I have in my bowl here, measured out already, it is five cups of all-purpose flour that I've already sifted. Now, you'll notice when I write this recipe on the blog, though, I'm going to say four to five cups of all-purpose flour. You want to start with just four. That's the thing about making breads, guys. You, It's not really an exact thing when it comes into using the flour. Um, a lot of things play into it, the humidity in the air, the temperature in the room, like things like that. So. Um, you're only going to start with the four cups that I mentioned and reserve the fifth cup because we may or may not need it. Okay. All right, so there's that. Now we can put in the rest of the sugar. Um, and I also had a little bit of salt in with that sugar. Yes. This is four ounces of softened butter. 
Like, do you see how soft it is, is already? Is it from the hurricane? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Is it fresh? No, I know. No, I, I'm sure your customers. This place has been packed since you've been uh, opened ever since the hurricane, right? They were waiting. They couldn't wait for us to get back yep. in order. Exactly. All right, so everything went into the bowl, and now I'm going to add, lastly, my yeast and my water mixture. So right now you're making cinnamon bun dough. That's right. With the dough hook on your KitchenAid mixer. Now explain to me about the dough hook movement. What's the moving? It moves different than yes, the other Yes, it does. It basically simulates the kneading action of um, when you would do this by hand. I gotta say, I'm not that crazy about the, um, I don't really, I don't really like making doughs at home with the KitchenAid mixer because I just don't think it does a really great job. No, what do you think As does a better to, to the, the, the whole way? Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. I don't think this does a really great job at home as compared to this. This thing is the mother. Exactly. Of all dough mixer. This is like we should have like this. Put this next to the big whip that you own and all that stuff. What is Crumboss own? Crumboss owns a lot of stuff. The other day when I watched the video on the, you guys got to watch the video on the, how to operate this uh, cookie dough machine. Oh, yeah, the, I, I thought it was in a, an episode of, of Lucy and Ethel. Where the, when you didn't tell me it worked and you know, it's unbelievable. Now you see how sticky this dough is here? Yeah. I mean it's not really looking like what a bread dough should look like and that is why we are going to add more of that flour but you never know and so you want to start light you could always add more later on you don't want to add it all in the beginning and then yeah geez I can't get it back on because it's there you yeah. I'm tilted it yeah all right so, so I'm going to put that in go okay. ahead and I may not want to add the full amount you want to kind of just let it go you want to see you want this to be like a soft um very soft, sticky, pliable dough. It sounds like a pizza dough. Yeah, it's sort of like a pizza dough, only yeah. this has sugar in it. I mean, all doughs essentially are, you know, living flour, organisms. Flour and water. Basically, you put flour and water together and you have a very uh, medieval dough. Um, you know, before we invented yeast um, and harnessed the yeast and, and dried it like that, I mean, they would just collect, there's natural yeast in the air outside. Yeah. I made a wild yeast dough before where I just put the flour and the water together, maybe a little bit of salt and some sugar. I let it sit. I used to live on a farm. And I let it sit in my kitchen, what, like overnight. What, what, what life, what, was it past life? Do you still no, live on a farm? No, no, I know, I know. 10 years ago. Yeah. 12 years ago. Yeah. Um, and I let all the wild yeast from the air, it was in the summer, I kept the windows open, all the wild yeast from the air made my dough rise. It was amazing. I love dough. You love dough, I love a different dough. I love lots of dough that's green and has a... Way. what about the Benjamins? Uh, you know? See how that came together? Yeah, I like a lot of dough, the green dough. You like a lot of this dough. Yes, I know that. Uh -huh. That's what makes you and I very different. No, we're best friends. <laughs> so, um, I still didn't add the remaining half a cup of flour, but I probably will at okay. this point. You guys don't really need to um, have a KitchenAid mixer to do this. You could do this all by hand. Or you could, you know... Get a KitchenAid mixer, yeah, I mean, go on crumbboss.com, go to Amazon and get one sent to your country. That's true. I mean, it just does save you a little bit of the, yes. um, the elbow grease. But you Let's know. give a shout out to all the people in Singapore and the Philippines because I think their posts are hysterical on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> See okay, sorry, I just went somewhere here. else. Like, look, it's so sticky. It's sticking to my fingers. So yeah. I added a lot of that remainder of the dough onto the table. Okay. And I'm just going to kind of knead that together. So, I needed, I, are you needing like how I needed fondant? Oh, or, fondant is so much harder to work with than yeah. this stuff. Fondant like gives you a workout. Yeah. All right, so we're um, going to have to go to part two soon. Yeah, we're definitely, this part, this oh, video pizza. is going to be probably about a three part video. All right, so this is how to make cinnamon bun dough probably, by the crumb boss. 8.55, okay, nine well, minutes. Okay, well let me just show you the last part then. It's on nine minutes. Um, you can't, um, let's. Yeah. We're going to just put it into this bowl. Okay. Yeah, now I'm at 9.04. Okay, okay, don't worry, we got till 10. Okay. And then it's going to go in this bowl like this. You're going to let this sit at, in a warm spot. I like to cover it with a towel yes. until it doubles in size. Get back to part two video and you'll see what I mean. Okay, so how to make cinnamon bun dough with the crumbles. Again, ladies and gentlemen, you are now watching the number one YouTube channel in the world uh, for baking and pastry. Crumbles, where'd you go?
So this is the rising of the yeast. The microorganisms <laughs> have risen. And this is the cinnamon bun dough that has risen. This is video part two. And this is your favorite little cinnamon bun. All rise. Crumb Boss is in the building. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good one, Gretchen. Hey, ready, Crumb Boss. This is part two of cinnamon bun. Uh, when you left us, we had just put our mixed dough in the bowl and we let it sit. Probably it was about an hour, right? Yeah. I covered it with a towel. Yes. Got it nice and warm like this. I covered it like a little baby, wrapped it up, put it in a warm okay. spot. About an hour later, it has doubled. Yeah. Look at this. Nice and spongy. Ooh, it's nice and warm. Wow. Okay. So now what I'm doing is really just being gentle, and I'm releasing the gases that the yeast has created, and that's what caused it to double up in the it first smells. place. It smells. Ooh, I love it. No, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> that is gases? The, yeah, the yeasts are producing gases. <laughs> yes. All right. Now what do you do? All right. Well, I just want to kind of do that. You want to just really uh, release those gases. Um, and in the me <laughs> yeah, you know the all about that. The yeast is farting. Stop it, Gretchen. <laughs> Yeah, meanwhile. <laughs> yeah. All right, so uh, we're going to just let that sit over there for a minute because what I want to do is mix up the um, cinnamon fast. sugar mixture that goes yeah, that gets rolled up inside the cinnamon bun. Um, very simply, I just use brown sugar. Okay. And I use cinnamon. Like the cinnamon challenge. That's is right. that cinnamon sugar? No, well, it's going to be. That's what we're making. So it's brown sugar and about a tablespoon of cinnamon. Okay. And I made these at my house a couple weeks ago, so I do have a little bit of extra that I'm going to just add to that. Uh huh. Okay, and then uh, just with my hands, I'm going to just kind of. You remember, ladies and gentlemen, your hands are your best tools. That's right. Your hands are your best tools. See how you just kind of rub that through? Yeah. Get it's it perfect. Yep. So that is my. Um, Ooh, it smells great. Cinnamon sugar. That I could see. I did. I could. I love cinnamon. I love cinnamon. I love coconut. Yeah, you Again, smell everything that? starts with a C in cinnamon. a bakery. Why is that? Not true. Cinnamon, <laughs> coconut, crumbles, cakes, <laughs> cupcakes, cake pops, um, candy. You know what? It's everything's a C. C's for crumb boss. Okay, uh, this is a half a pound of butter right here. Holy I, crap! I only need four ounces. Well, yeah, I better unwrap it first. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, I only need four ounces, so that's... How do you know how much the four ounces is? Well, this was eight ounces, so half of that is four. How do you know it's eight? Because I cut a pound in half and had a half a pound, and now I cut it in half again and have four ounces. How much is a pound? Sixteen ounces. Oh. All right, I'm going to melt this. You could do that, but if I said, oh, how much is that? It's like seven. I know. I, Hold I your know fingers up. math. That's about it. Okay. I can't do regular math. Okay, so while my butter is melting, we've mixed our cinnamon sugar mixture. Yes. And now we're going to roll out... The dough. The dough. Oh, wow. So you want to get yourself a nice baking table. Yeah. Best to do this, guys, on a wood table, not really this metal table, but since this is where I always stand, I have to make do with what I have. All right. Okay. So... I'm going to just really kind of knead that so it's not as sticky. You don't yes. really want it sticking to your hands or the table. So you are going to add a little bit more flour. This would be a good episode for me to do because look at all the mess yeah, you're making. Yeah, look at the mess. I know. All right. Mm. So I like to start with a rectangle because what you start with is what you're going to end up with. So if you start with a round disc and you start rolling it, it's just going to get bigger round. Do you need the rolling pin? Uh, yeah, did they bring it over here? No, it's right, oh, there's a brown one there. Oh, here it is. And then there's that one. So, yeah, what we're going to do is take this dough mm -hmm. and just really roll this out to a rectangle shape. Now, how many cinnamon buns do you sell a day? Um, eh, we sell about two dozen, I'd say. Yeah. Why do people on YouTube want cinnamon buns? I don't know. It was probably it's been one since of like the day one. Most sought after recipe is how to make a cinnamon bun over and over again. But again, the, it's a lengthy process. So if you if you really want to be a master pastry chef like the Crumb Boss and do this in your home, you have to pay attention. And you do need a lot of the right tools to get it done the right way. Exactly. Like you know, you can't use like you know, like for like rolling pin, you can't use like a bowling pin. <laughs> That's true. That's a good one. Yeah, see? Why do, why do rolling pin and bowling pin rhyme? <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't know. Why? All right, guys. So oh, there's, my, um, Big jerk. there's my dough. 
Okay. Uh, let's see, what do we got here? It's um, probably about 12 inches by yeah. 24. 12 by 24, you can roll that out. Yeah, okay. I have my butter that I melted in the microwave. Nice. Now, because I forgot my pastry brush, mm -hmm. which normally I would take this butter and brush it over the top, I'm actually just going to do it like this. Oh, okay. Because my hands are my best tools, right? Yeah, this is a good video for me to make. Yeah. Stuff would be in every direction. All right, so you're going to take that butter and pour it over top. Looks like I only used about two ounces. Okay, all right, yeah. all of this sugar. Here gets the good part. Uh-huh. Now you're doing it a certain technique. What is that? I just, want to, I just don't want to dump it all in one spot. I'm okay. just trying to kind of dump it a little bit evenly. Okay. All right, and then again, I'm going to spread it out. What's my time? You're at six minutes. Okay, we're almost there. All right, so there you have it. Oh, it smells amazing. Now, here's the part where we're going to start similar to the pinwheel cookies that we made the other day. Yes. Remember how we start to fold over this lip? This is something else to make, Gretchen. No yeah. wonder why you don't make this. Well, I know. I didn't want to videos. do it on a YouTube video because, uh, you know, it's... I don't like to rush through, and I don't uh -huh. like to, I, you know, I want to, I want people to learn it the right way. So you guys got to really watch all three parts to this, because we're still not done. You're going to yes. watch part three when I'm done with this one. Exactly. All right, so you see how I'm rolling this up? It's gigantic, because it's like a big worm. Yeah. <laughs> now, notice I didn't put the sugar over here. Okay. There's still like a lip of dough. That's so you can glue it. Exactly. Because if I did, you wouldn't be able to seal this properly, just like remember we did on pinwheel cookies. So yes. what I do now, and this is actually the oh. way I learned in school. Cool. Take mm -hmm. your two fingers, push down, push down. Push and down. I'm sealing it. I'm really like them. pinching. Oh this my god! Dough it's so together. cool. All right. Yeah. And there we have. It's like a giant earthworm. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's this like. Is this is a handy thing to have. Not only does it clean your table after, guys, yes. but this is what we use <laughs> to slice through. <gasps> Wait, what are you doing? This is how we cut the individual cinnamon buns. Oh, cool. How now? Wait a minute, Gretchen. Go. Wait, stop for a second. Show the people what you're doing. Like the length of the cinnamon bun. Yeah. How many inches? Well, I mean, five you guys, inches? If you guys want big, gigantic cinnamon buns, no. cut them thicker. I want small ones. Yeah, right. And trust me, these are going to double up in size in the oven even still. Yeah. Oh, cool. Okay, and that's how you make a cinnamon bun. But, of course, we're still not done. Yes. So, you're going to have to catch us on part three video. Okay. But in the meantime, let me just show you how I would set these up. I have a... Uh, a what do you call this a baking pan sometimes i just like lose my mind and i can't think straight because you're filming with me <laughs> <I know. laughs> this is uh, sprayed with the pan grease okay the yeah pan or whatever yeah. and you want to spray it really well okay and then you're going to put them next to each other nice now remember these are going to double in size guys so when you um take them out of the oven yes they are going to be connected to each other okay so this but is we don't put them in the oven yet you're going to set them up in your pan. You want to cover them with your towel again. Oh, good great. And you're going to let them sit for about another hour until they double in size again. That yeast is still working in there. So that yeast is now working on all that other sugar. It's having a feast. They're getting fat. And then we bake them. So catch us back in another hour, guys, on part three video. And then we're going to bake these cinnamon buns. Okay. Crumbles. So, uh, Crumble, we're on part 92 of how to make a cinnamon bun. <laughs> you asked for it, guys. Like, this is how you make cinnamon buns. It takes hours. Yes. We started the video. At 4 o'clock. It's now 7.30. It's now 7.30. This is all in real time. We're going to link all the videos together, but we are at the last part, finally. Yes. We just baked our cinnamon buns. Ooh. Look at these things. Wow. Right? So, these were the, were oh. the same ones. <gasps> They're gigantic. Wait, go same slow. ones that I showed you. Oh my god, they're huge. Just don't touch that because it's very hot. I won't. You will hear somebody scream and cry. Oh, look at these. They're delicious. Gretchen, they're gigantic. Yeah, and here, like, I made a bunch of them. Yeah, wow. And I want to just show you guys a trick here. This is how we make them at the bakery. Yeah. Um, we bake them in individual muffin tins so that they actually don't bake together like that. They, they, they stay very separate. Okay. So it's just another way to bake cinnamon buns if you like that idea. Okay. Wow. This smells, it smells good. It smells very old fashioned. Yeah. Like it smells nice. So um, next what we have to do is put the glaze on there. And this is just some sifted confectioner sugar. Okay. I'm going to add to that just a couple of tablespoons of milk. 
regular milk? Um, I just used evaporated because I had it, but yeah, regular milk would be fine. Okay. And then you're just going to stir that together. You don't want it to be too thick. You want it kind of drizzly a little bit, so I'm going to add just a tiny bit more milk okay. to that. So milk and confectionery yeah, sugar. Yeah, that's really all it is. See how it makes it like a glaze? Yeah. What's that? Oh, that's my way of eating cinnamon buns. Just give me a minute. <laughs> give me a minute, I'll show you how to eat a cinnamon bun. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, Charlie. <laughs> Charlie Chaplin. Right? I'll show you yeah. how to eat a cinnamon bun. Look, guys, these just came out of the oven, right? Yes. You could let them cool slightly, but... Or you can burn your hand. Or you can put them directly on. See how I'm going to glaze them like that? Oh, my God. And then just smear that around. Oh, smear it or smear it? Yeah, whatever. Smear, smear. Okay. Okay. So that's one way of doing it with the traditional sugar icing. Yes. My favorite way to eat a cinnamon bun is with cream cheese icing. Are you serious? Oh, it's so good. Yeah? That's like cinnamon is with cream cheese icing. Oh, I never so had cinnamon. So this is my cream cheese icing if you guys want to do it this way. Yeah. Simply, you want to do it when it's warm. Okay. Because you want the cream cheese icing to melt a little bit, and we just put like a little dollop on each one. Oh my god. Like that. How many calories are in these? Like a thousand. Per bite. Probably. Look at it. Right? Oh my god. And then as, you know, this is going to kind of melt in. Yeah. I love cinnamon bun. Oop, look Oop. at that. Wow. That'll be mine. <laughs> that scratching's right yeah. there. All right, so as, the, you know, like I said, these just came out of the oven. This cream cheese icing is cold, yes. but as the buns cool, it's yes. going to start to melt this icing, too. And then what happens after that? And we eat them. Oh, my God, look at them. If you guys do decide to use the cream cheese icing, though, you're going to want to make sure you keep them in the fridge. What? The cream cheese icing? Well, because it's cream cheese. I mean, if yeah, you don't you eat them yeah. all for breakfast or whatever, then you're going to want to store This looks them. totally different from that with the icing. Like, that's more of, like, the... That's you, the icing that you made, but this looks different. This looks awesome. Yeah, I mean, awesome. look, it's just different styles of how you like to eat it. Some people always use cream cheese icing for their cinnamon buns, and some people always use the sugar icing. Mm -hmm. It's really just your preference. I just like anything that has cream cheese on it. Yeah. Do you like bagels? Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. So there you have it. Let's pull one out and see what it looks like. Let's pull out this one because that's the one I said was going to be mine. Fresh cinnamon buns by the crumb boss. See that? That's my favorite part is the center. Yeah, look at that. Wow. So after 14 videos on how to make a cinnamon bun. Yeah, right. This we is it. We can finally sell one for $2. We can, <laughs> we can finally sell one for a nickel. Yeah. Yes. So you can finally sell one for $2. But this, again, is the cinnamon bun made by the crumb boss with the cream cheese icing. Again, you can have the regular icing over here. What is this called? Do you, like, you like cream cheese, don't you? Yeah, yeah. This is like a, It's kind of hot, though, Gretchen. It's not hot. Gretchen, you, you, your hands are... I'm, I'm very sensitive. Mm, it's all good. Just give me a little piece. Mm, like, take that one. How hot is it? It's perfect. No, that's hot as heck. Mm. How in God's name did you eat that? Oh, gosh, she's eating her own thing. Just like that. Mm. It's not oh, hot. Let me see. You're such a baby. Ow! Just eat it. Oh, wow. Isn't it delicious? Mm. And there you have cinnamon buns, guys. Finally. Go back and watch all 1,700 videos leading up to this. And you'll have them for yourself. It took about three hours, right? I so, can... yeah, if you want to make cinnamon buns at home, give yourself three hours. <laughs> goes, I'm starving. Where's my cinnamon bun? Yeah. I can't believe i got to wait three hours. Exactly. Oh, my God. Okay, so there we have it. The cinnamon bun. Keep go ahead. Bite into it. This part is hot. Let's see. See the steam? Yeah. It's insane how hot this thing is, and she's putting it in her mouth. You're out of your mind. Mm, it's so dumb. <laughs> Crumb boss. Crumb boss.